Dallas at this moment. So, we got into our first map, which was C. Oh my god, they were literally one star. I... I love one star players. Oh my god, they are so cute. I was quickly informed that they have zero wins So I made it my goal to get this person their first win However, I don't think they knew how to use a gen as they stood away from it But I started bridging which didn't stop me as I took out the first rush pretty quickly However, it turned out Grey was actually good and they actually beat me in this PvP. But this turned out to actually be a really good thing because Mr. Aqua was rushing our bed. Panic stricken, I quickly rushed to put over a bed defense and go straight for them because I need to stop them ASAP. However, both Aquas actually make it to our base and they were very good and I could not hold them off. They get our bed, which was absolutely bad news. The worst case scenario, but I somehow managed to survive. And my teammate, the one star, killed the other one. This was amazing. But now it was time to clutch with a one star. Oh, God. I'm quick to leave the base and I bring the one star with me as we're going straight to mid to get those diamonds, those emeralds, because we need to stack up and stack up fast. After doing a cheeky loop around mid, I gathered eight M's, which was perfect, literally perfect. However, I make a discovery that both Aquas are away from their bed, so I start bridging to Aqua. With them being our biggest threat, this was probably the best call, but I did not realize that Mr. Aqua had already made it to mid, which makes for this clip of him fully coming to us, and oh my god, like an absolute hero, the one star goes, throws me the blocks, and suicides himself to keep me alive with blocks so I can go to Aqua. Oh my god, this clip is amazing. I managed to somehow break Aqua's bed and then somehow kill this guy. It was close. With that kill, that meant that I had eight M's to spend, which is perfect. Because of the one star's heroic death, I had to win this game and there was nothing stopping me now. You're the last one. Complete the mission. I managed to get a lot of gear going around mid, getting M's, getting diamonds. That meant I had a juicy inventory. I started to rush red because they're the only team with a bed, but nope. they got there before me, but then I just managed to put this guy in the absolute blender. It's easy! I then invis and jump the guy who literally watched his bed get broken on the red team, and I just obliterate this man because he cannot see me. I'm jumping very high. I'm going to end this man. Look at this. With that red gone, that meant there was only one red left. I tracked him down, hunted him down, and this is what happened. I don't know why they just typed yeah in chat, but I just did too. And that was literally the one star's first win. Bro, that felt so good. <laughs> so I did it again. So I got a new player under 5 star and this guy just did not stop trying to like boogie in front of me. He was very weird actually. Nonetheless, we made it into Acropolis and he just didn't stop moving. Very, very, very bizarre character. I quickly just make sure the void is safe. And I grab a TNT to blow up green. It explodes, pushes one off and then I just combo the next guy into a literal oblivion bro. Which then meant that I could just break the bed pretty easily actually. This was honestly an amazing first rush. And then my low star teammate goes and wipes them both like an absolute god in his chain armor, bro. What the hell? <laughs> to avoid getting carried by this non, I quickly bridged the man. How fast I really am. Right here, I'm trying to be sneaky, but I think the blue guy sees me. I don't know what gives it away. I just, I just think he sees me. So I hide a little bit longer. I fake running away. And then he doesn't realize, so then I go and literally just break the bed pretty smoothly, actually. <laughs> I then noticed Aqua Base, they have no bed defense, so I quickly just side rush them. And while my low star teammate just decides to watch me bridge, why not, I guess? I go and break the bed and then go and just absolutely decimate this man in his gen who's just not paying attention. You should never sleep in a Bed Wars game, I'm sorry. The last bed to get was grey, so I just head straight over and get into a very intense 1v1 actually, because this happens. Yep, we lose our freaking bed, bro, whilst I'm Fortnite build battling this guy. This guy, for some reason, drops down and takes so much full damage. He also lands in fire, so he dies to the literal fire tip. <coughs> this means I can get the bed pretty smoothly and take a 1v1 pretty easily because I'm just more stacked.
The last guy was in mid, so I throw a fireball at him and just go to town. And that was another successful non-carry. And I asked the guy how many wins he had, and he had no idea where to see his total win. So I spent like a minute explaining where it is. And then I found out it was 11. I got this guy his 11th win. That was epic. And I did one more. This is a bonus game. Enjoy. So, we were on air show, I got out extremely quickly, and so did Blue actually, but he was by himself, so he's very outnumbered by the 2 to 1. Why are you running? He just literally gave us his bed and the free final. I mean, hey, nice guy, thanks, first rush, done. I then made my way over to Grey to go and get their bed. Okay, so I get that first grade, then the second grade comes in here, and he actually kills me, which is perfect, because red is absolutely booming towards our bed, and this is honestly the closest I have ever seen a bed to being broken. Like, he literally gets it twice, but does not get the bed break. This clip is honestly amazing, bro. Look at the replay of this, dude. The guy literally breaks the bed twice. What is he doing? How did he not break the bed? I spam more blocks over it just to cover the bed, because oh my god. I then make my way over to Grey once more, but on the way, I... Yeah, we lose our bed, which is not ideal. And my one-star teammate dies. Oh god, I have the clutch. Then this red guy who's hungry for a final gets a nice combo on me, but I reverse the combo and end his life. I quickly reassure my one-star teammate, then make my way over to White, who tries to fight with the TNT. <laughs> What the fuck? I kill one white and then make my way over to their bed while the other teammate is just deep in thought. I tower up on top of their huge bed defense. Like, what is that, man? And quickly dig down. However, their 1000 IQ actually gets me into a foot trap. And he starts actually comboing me, so I quickly build up as fast as I possibly can. I quickly gap up because this guy had me in a nasty foot trap. Like, he was getting combos on me. So, I go to the top of the base, chill, collect my thoughts, and think of, how can I outsmart this man? So this is what I do. I notice he's hidden on top of his base, so I block him in, and then get the bed, and then run. But at the same time, I realize one of them's weak, so I quickly get the bed, then run back in, fight this one guy, combo him, take the next guy on, and then also combo him! <laughs> After impressing my teammate by team wiping white, I head over to pink to try and do the same thing. I quickly get into a fight with a dude with a KB stick, which I do not want to get knocked off because I have no bed. So I quickly kill him and go to their bed as fast as possible. I combo another and then burrow into their base and yeah, I get the bed. Nice. Instead of 2v1ing me, both pinks just decide to hide, so I just combo them both out pretty easily actually. While trying to collect M's and diamonds, yellow are hot on my tail. Like, they want me dead so bad. So I quickly Fortnite 90s build battle and just drop on this man and combo him into next year, dude. Then with me thinking I can clutch this game, I accidentally <laughs> misplace a block and die. <laughs> 